One of the best privileges that people will talk about is probably priority registration. You can register for classes a lot earlier than other people, which makes sure that you're going to be on track to graduate in the amount of time because you don't have to worry about, am I going to get this class? Is this class going to be full? What happens? Interacting with the Honors College professors and the faculty, the diverse students, and being able to participate in all the extracurricular events that, the honors, that are exclusive to Honors College students, like the convocation, the many lecture series we have with different Nobel Peace Laureates. To me, the best thing is, and I think a key word would be synergy, where you have a coming together of all elite students uh, with similar study habits, with similar academic goals, and it's nice to see that everybody comes together and that you drive off each other. Uh, you see somebody who's talking about going to an Ivy League for their uh, graduate program, it pushes you that much harder to compete or to stay up with that sort of a thing. The best professors I've met at, uh, at school uh, come, come from the Honors College. Being in the Honors College gives you the opportunity to take advantage of some of the best professors that the university has to offer. The professors in the Honors College have been very, very good to me since the beginning when I was a freshman. One of my favorite professors that was my professor my freshman year, Dr. Beesting. He was incredible and I still talk to him today. There's a, there's a major difference between regular classes uh, and the Honors College classes. First of all, the classes are smaller. I think maybe 20-something people per class in the Honors College. And it's more of a personal level that you get to know the professor. As an economics major, I take a lot of classes in economics and then some business classes. So, but the Honors College allows me to go outside of that for twice a week and relate what I've learned there to other topics. I teach in the uh, third year honors class, uh, Aesthetics, Values, and Authority. Last year I was uh, fortunate, I guess, to be able to also teach a first year section at this campus, uh, Origins of Ideas, Ideas of Origins. The course I teach is called Inhabiting Other Lives. I teach a course on the Everglades. Uh, we call it uh, the Everglades from beginning to end. The co course is taught outdoors uh, in various locations of the Everglades. How is, the Ever how is the Everglades form? How does it work? Uh, how is it important to our lives? In the Honors College, you have a great deal more creativity on the part of the student. It's not so much what you know or what you learn as to how you learn to approach problems, how to learn to ask the right questions. It's what you think a college course should really be. I like people to think. What I like people to do is to try to try to really get their creative thinking going. Uh, we are able to get to know the students, who they are. We've had students who needed a scholarship, so we tried to help them with that. Have our students reach an understanding of melding together, as the course title suggested, their personal life, their career and professional life, and the place of those two in building stronger communities in the future. Being in a study abroad program where I wasn't just there as a tourist, I was there to learn about the country, to learn about the culture and about the people in general was definitely a completely different experience. I learned about art and then I saw the paintings. I learned about the people and then I interacted with them. Well, I think study abroad, I think everybody, no matter where they are in the, in the world, ought to have some serious experiences of being in places where people are not like them. People need to learn from some difference. They need to see how we can be different and yet still share uh, all the central human kinds of issues. One of my most memorable experiences was the study abroad program in Spain, which I just did last summer, which was amazing and awesome and I want to move to Spain now. Just going over to Spain and then with the honors background, it provided me a lot of reference that I wouldn't have gotten as just a regular tourist. I think one of the biggest benefits about being in the honors college 
is the study abroad program. You begin to assimilate into the culture and, and it, when you come back, you realize that there's not just one way of doing things. I'd highly recommend it to anybody thinking of joining. It's going to look good on your transcript academically, but it's also going to be good for your life. The things that you're going to learn are priceless. The context that you're going to make within the class and, and with the, outside of the class with these people, who, like I said, are elite students, uh, is something that you'll probably take with you forever. Honest Place is the community. It's a living and learning community of Honest College students. Living in Honest Place gives you the simultaneous benefits of being in the Honest College as well as being an on-campus resident. As they come in as freshmen and proceed through the program, or as they come in as juniors and proceed through the program, it is the idea that they're joining a community of people who are serious about learning, who are serious about using that learning as a platform for their future, and there's a bonding that takes place among the students and among the students with the faculty. It's, it's, a, it's a home at the university for them. And because they work so closely with the faculty, they have a greater chance, I think, to sort of uh, expand their skills um, and think outside of the box. Come visit the campus. That's one thing. Talk to the people here. I think that for a lot of students, they'll see that FIU is a wonderful fit between FIU and the Honors College because it's FIU, Research One University, Resources, Miami, major metropolitan area. And then the Honors College is a small community within the large university setting. You have the opportunity to come here and innovate. You have the opportunity to come here and create and be a part of new organizations, new ideas. You have the chance to leave your mark here.